April 23, 2007, Captain Ray Bowyer embarks on a routine passenger flight for a civilian airline company, traveling from Southampton, located on the coast of England, to Alderney, a quaint island situated off the coast of France. This particular flight has garnered recognition as one of the most extraordinary UFO sightings in recorded history. As a senior pilot with 18 years of experience, Captain Bowyer embarked on a routine 45-minute flight that he had flown countless times before. Flight 544, departing at 2 p.m., carried nine passengers on board and enjoyed favorable flying conditions with excellent visibility for miles around. Captain Bowyer, while cruising on autopilot at an altitude of 1,200 meters and approximately 16 kilometers south of the Isle of Wight, was engaged in paperwork and keeping an eye out for other aircraft. During his routine tasks, Captain Bowyer's attention was suddenly drawn to an astonishing sight. He observed what initially appeared to be a brilliant yellow lamp or light. His first thought was that it might be an ordinary aircraft or perhaps a reflection from the ground or the sun. However, it became clear that this was no ordinary light reflection. The object he spotted was situated 88 kilometers away, and for a span of 15 minutes, Captain Bowyer, along with his passengers, witnessed this unidentified phenomenon. Utilizing binoculars with 10 times magnification, he discerned that it bore no resemblance to a conventional aeroplane. He confidently concluded that it was not a mere reflection but rather an emanation of light. Through his binoculars, he managed to make out a distinct shape. On nearing the object, a second identical shape appeared beyond the first. Both objects were of a flattened disc shape with a dark area to the right. They were brilliant yellow with light emanating from within, and I estimated them to be up to possibly a mile across. However, Captain Bowyer was not the sole witness to this extraordinary encounter. His passengers also observed the UFOs. One of them recalled the moment. Traveling back from Southampton to, to Alderney in, in the Trilander, uh, I had noticed uh, Ray uh, looking out through the windscreen with his binoculars, which is quite unusual. I saw Ray turn around and talk to someone behind him while we were flying. Now, he wasn't worrying from the standpoint of flying, but it was unusual. And he was gesturing to something down below. Recognizing the significance of this sighting, Captain Bowyer promptly contacted Jersey Air Traffic Control to ascertain whether they could detect anything on their radar. The radar displayed a solitary primary contact in the vicinity described by Ray. I'm looking at a uh, piece of airspace which is uh, approximately 100 miles by 100 miles. Ahead of Ray's aircraft, there was nothing for 40 miles. The UFOs were not stationary, they moved as Captain Bowyer's plane drew nearer. With both objects still visible and passengers on board, Captain Bowyer made the decision to descend through the 600-meter haze layer, losing sight of the objects. Um, and quite happy to descend and get out of the way of it, actually, because it was looking pretty frightening. Um, but yeah, an interesting day out, not, not many days like that. The, the, on the radar tracers that I've got, there's uh, a yellow a yellow dot which comes as a reflection from Guernsey and a red dot which is a reflection from Jersey and at all times these um, red and yellow dots are appearing on these objects that are getting slightly further and further apart from each other at all times. Now with the curvature of the earth and the height of Sark uh, the Jersey head if it was a ship wouldn't be able to see a boat in the water from where it is positioned halfway along the north coast of Guernsey, sorry Jersey, he wouldn't be able to see this boat on the surface of the water, but at all times the red reflection to the radar is visible, so that proves to me that it wasn't on the sea surface. Also the radar tracks go directly over top of Cascades Lighthouse, and not many ships do that. During the descent, air traffic control informed Captain Bowyer that another pilot flying in the opposite direction, roughly 40 kilometers away, had also observed the UFOs to the north-northeast, confirming the sighting from an entirely different perspective. North-northeast towards Alderney, he could see an object matching the description that Ray had given. One side heard the second pilot uh, apparently confirm the sighting from an opposite direction. That's where it became really quite strange. 
certainly backs up what Ray was describing in terms of the, uh, the parent scale. He described at one point the object possibly being Boeing 737 sized. Upon landing, Captain Bowyer promptly reported the bizarre sighting, providing detailed drawings of what he and his passengers had witnessed. He emphasized the importance of promptly reporting any unidentified objects to fellow aircrew and urged them to stand up and be counted, emphasizing the need for authorities to conduct a comprehensive investigation into such phenomena. I would urge all fellow aircrew to report whatever they see as soon as possible and to stand up and be counted. It's only when crucial and critical witnesses such as aircrew make reports that the authorities will be kick-started into a broader investigation of this phenomenon.